Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome to my channel. It has been approximately forever since I filmed a video, so I thought today I would just do a little chatty, get ready with me, nothing, like I didn't plan any of this. I don't really know how I like how it turned out because I put some eyeliner on and you'll you'll see the eyeliner struggles throughout the video. But I just took some of my recent favorites or things that I've gone back to that I like or there's like one thing that I use that I don't like that much. Uh, but yeah, and I just, just chat with you guys. Um, I hopefully will be posting more regularly, but law school's hard, okay? Like it's hard. So I can't make any promises, but hopefully I will be able to post more regularly. Hopefully you enjoy this video and yeah, let's just get into it. It has been like a hundred years since I sat down to film, so I am just really excited to be getting back into it. Uh, I'm gonna start out with primer. Yes. I've been really liking the Catrice Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base. I also really like the pink one of these, which is like beautifying or whatever. It's like the illuminating one. And then I did see they have a green one that's supposed to color correct, but I went with the pore refining one instead. I like it because it's oil free, but there's no like silicone or anything. It just kind of, it's one of those primers that has like a tacky feeling, which I don't normally love but it does keep my makeup on longer, so go it. I have just been having like the busiest life, so you know. But then every time I sit down to film, I still just like don't know what to talk about, which is infuriating. I'm just gonna prime my eyes really quick with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, just the original one, because I feel like this primer is just the I mean, it's like a cult favorite for a reason. I feel like it's the one primer that I have that like lasts all day. I like Paint Pot because it, you know, fixes discoloration, but it doesn't last all day. And then it's like, what's the point of that? And I've been super into ColourPop shadows. Um, I mean, I only have these four of the pressed ones, but I really like them. So I'm just gonna take this shade right here, which I don't remember the name of. I will link it down below though. And I'm just gonna set down all of that. I was doing so well, like uploading once a week for a bit there, and then law school happened again. Like, it's just exhausting, I don't know. Cause it's like, I'll be home a lot of the time, but like, I just have so much reading and work to do that like, by the time you finish everything, you are dead, and then you go to sleep, and you wake up the next morning to just do it again, so man. Uh, but anyway, another thing that I've been really liking is the Rimmel Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick Crayon thing. This one is in the shade Trespassing Taupe, and I know that I've had this for a long time. Like, I bought this a long time ago, and I, like, never really used it for whatever reason, but I have been liking cream shadows recently because as I'm doing right now, it's super quick in the morning to just, like, throw on and then I just kind of do it in little layers, but just blend up the color just a little bit. Blend up, build up, whatever. And so it's just super easy. These I find don't really crease. I know my, like with the NYX jumbo pencils, I kind of have the problem with them creasing on me, but these Rimmel ones don't. At least this color, this is the only one that I have, but I've been liking it. And also since I've been wearing glasses a lot more recently, I kind of like um, having a darker shade on my whole lid, just like setting it all down. I just feel like it kind of brings more attention to your eyes. I've been trying to get my makeup routine down in the morning to like 15 minutes because honestly, I'm not going to wake up any earlier than that. Oh no. It's the only problem with these is <laughs> they get on and they are just on, which is a good thing till you mess up like I did. <laughs> then for reasons like this, sometimes I'll take a bit of concealer like the smallest amount and just clean up where that happened. And then I do like to take a powder shadow, like similar color. I mean, this is a little warmer, but I'm gonna take this color right here and just go ahead, get a little on my brush, just a little fluffy blending brush. And this I mostly just use to diffuse those edges from the shadow stick thing, just because I think that sometimes with eyeshadow like that, you can get a little bit of a harsh line. And then to diffuse even more, I'm going back to the lightest shade in that palette, the one that I set everything with, 
and I'm highlighting my brow bone and really blending it in. So that's kind of, wait, no, there's one more thing I was going to add. Um, I have been getting back into the Revlon, like, photo eye art, whatever, if I want a little bit of sparkle. And so I'm just taking that in the center of the lid and pressing it. This gives me a little bit of a sheen. I'm not using the glitter side, I'm just using the like metallic-y side. And I like this just to give a little bit of something so that your lid isn't super, super matte. This is a good one because it's a nice taupey color. What is the shade? I think it has it in there. Topaz Twinkle, so I guess not taupe, but it's a similar kind of cooler tone. So now I kind of move on to the rest of my face. I've been into color correcting under my eyes recently. So this is the Catrice Camouflage Cream in Wake Up Effect, I guess. It doesn't really have a shade name, but it's really creamy. And it's just a nice kind of a pinky shade, which I like for under my eyes. And I've just been going in with this before I go in with any foundation or BB cream, especially because I've been wearing a lighter coverage foundation and sometimes a lighter coverage concealer. I just like to have a bit of extra, like a little head start for my under eyes, I guess. This is like super cheap too, because it's Catrice. Wrigleyville's loud again. Like there have been people out there yelling for an hour now and I don't really know why, because nothing's going on here today. Whatever. All right, so for foundation, I have been using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Light 6. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce it. And I think I've used this in a video before, but I'm not positive. I think I've had it for a bit. Um, I just really like it because it just gives a really beautiful coverage. Like I get why everyone likes it now. Um, this is a darker shade than I normally go for, um, but I had... The woman at Blue Mercury color match me and I mean I kind of like it because my face is very light but my body is actually not like as pale as my face most of the time so I finally you know have a foundation that <laughs> matches more to my body and uh, I'm a fan. I was just trying to build this one up in light layers. Not sure where that cut off, but I just spot concealed with my finger and this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. And I think I put this, I did have this in another video. I love this concealer to spot conceal. It gives just like a nice matte finish so it doesn't draw attention to anything. It is the same color. Hi kitties. It's the same color as my foundation so it doesn't stick out and look like yo hey you concealed, you know? So I really have been liking that. And then I also go in with NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Um, I like the Shape Tape Concealer, but I think that this one is always gonna be my favorite. Um, I use the shade Vanilla for this one because I use it to highlight. And I don't know, I just think that this one looks a more natural than the Tarte one does and I feel like it lasts the best on my oily skin. I don't know how popular of an opinion this is, but I don't know. I'm still sticking with the OG. I have been loving the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I like It's been so long that I don't know what I've talked about in videos and what I haven't. But for oily skin, this is really, really nice. I just use it to dust under my eyes, on my nose, um, basically all over my whole face because my skin is an oil slick, so. I you all from using the one I always use. I'm gonna go in with Benefits Hula, um, which I feel like with this shade of foundation uh, works fine because, you know, my skin's a little bit less ghostly. I just feel like this one's not as easy to blend as my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Like, that is the ultimate bronzer right there. So then every time I use something that's not in, I'm like, 
eh. And this is the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush in Fig Pop, which I'm sure I've used in a video because this one and Heather Pop, mostly Heather Pop, but these blushes have been like the best since I got them. I finally ordered um, a Tarte blush and highlight because today when I'm filming this is the beauty steal day where they're half off so I figured it'd be time to try. I picked up Exposed um, for that blush because I wanted that for so long but I just couldn't bring myself to do it because it's such like a nude blush that I didn't want to spend that much money on it but since it is you know 50% off, I figured it would be the perfect time to try it. So we will see how that goes. And I'm gonna highlight using the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and Be My Highlight. I'm pretty sure I've used this in a video as well. This is just my ultimate kind of highlighter. Um, I either like super pink tone, like you can see them, or kind of champagne, not too golden. Just nice soft highlights that don't make me look like a disco ball. Like, I can bathe in this. Um, before I do anything else, I'm gonna quickly do my brows. Here's another Catrice product, and I've been loving this e also. Um, this is the Eyebrow Filler Perfecting and Shaping Gel. I've been liking my brows to just kind of be there, um, but not necessarily done. These can get a little messy because of the brush being so long, but I find as long as you, like, make sure to scrape off the tip, um, you don't get too messy but I just kind of like I mean my brows are rough right now I need to get them done or do them myself but uh, I find that this fills in the perfect amount so they look a little neater a little fuller but honestly like you maybe didn't even touch them plus in the mornings this is super quick I don't have to go and like fill them in ahead of time now I don't know how this would work if you have super thin brows. I have naturally thick brows. That's just like what I have going. But so I don't know. I like it because I have naturally thick brows and I think it just goes nicely in there. But to each his own. Lower lash line. I'm wearing like a Cubs shirt and doing some blue theme today. So I'm going to take this, which I love. Um, this is one of the new NYX faux blacks. And this one is in the color Midnight. It's the third shade or number three, whatever. And it's just this pretty like blue. And I'm just gonna line my eye with it. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just fun to add a pop of color here and there. And these are super creamy. Like I don't have to tug, which these are the first, these and the faux whites are the first formula of any eyeliner I've ever found that I don't have to tug to place color. More intense than I was going for on this day, but. I'm just going to take a little bit of the darker brown shade of the ColourPop shadow I had used earlier just to uh, blend a bit. I'm just like not used to eyeliner on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know about it. Normally I use this as a top. Should I put a little on the top or is that going to make me look like a raccoon? Not too raccoon like. I think it balanced it out. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully you can even see what I just did because I was just staring down. Uh, next I'm going to curl my lashes, which I've been doing recently because I picked up the Shis Shiseido eyelash curler when it was Beauty Steel from Ulta. And I kind of like curling my lashes. It gives them a little bit of a lift. And I just use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara for the top lashes. Because now, like, look, I feel like I don't even need two layers. I'm still going to, like, do another layer because of the darker eyeliner that I used. But, like, curling your lashes is a thing, kids. Oh, hi, serious monster. Look who it is. Let's say hi. Hey, Mr. Monster. Hey. Hey. Look who it is. Say hello, serious monster. Hello. He was meowing to come up here. Oh, is you hungry? We're out of dry food. Do you want some more wet food? Or should I go to Joel to get you some? He's just such a sweet little kid. Or no kid. Anyway. And the last thing I'm going to do is lips. So I'm just going to line using the NYX Natural Lip Liner. Which, if you've watched any videos on my channel, you know that I love this. And then I'm going to take the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade White Russian. Another... 
beauty steel purchase <laughs> and I'm just gonna apply that. I have been super into gloss recently. So yeah, as usual, when I throw on <laughs> dark eyeliner, I'm like, oh, but I don't think it looks too bad. I think when I get off camera, I'm gonna like make my brows bolder. Should I just do that now? <sighs> All right, so I think it looks better with the bolder brows. I still, I don't know. You guys tell me, like, does dark eyeliner, am I just like doing it wrong or do I just like not like dark eyeliner? I don't know, because I look at other people and they always look so cool. And then I do it and I'm like, I kind of look like I escaped from eighth grade and I'm here just chilling. So let me know down below if you have an opinion even, whatever. <laughs> So this is the completed look for the day. Oh, hello, Simone. Simone, do you want to be in the outro? That's it for today. So we're going to go. And I'm going to go hang out with cats. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Say goodbye, Simone. Goodbye.